Hey, it's Franchise CJ here, and I'm bringing you guys my battle for week five of UB. Week five, it's season five, but it's certainly not week five. It's week ten of uh, UBC. Uh, we are going up against the North Carolina Tyranitar Heels, which is coached by Carney Hobo. Uh, Carney actually took over for Parker, and um, that was so his team name was the Tyranitar Heels. Usually, if you see Carney, he's the Vancouver Stealth Rocks. And uh, he's participated in NPL and NPL Miners before and stuff like that. But uh, real quick, he's got Latios, or Omega Latios like that, uh, Thunderous Incarnate, Lucario, Roserade, Arcanine, Chansey, uh, Primarina, Tyranitar, Sandslash, Dust Noir, Floatzel, and Lopany. Uh, so his team's really scary. He's got a lot of great setup threats, um, being those first three mons that are on the team, and then even stuff like Tyranitar is scary with Rock Polisher, Dragon Dance. And uh, Float Souls, a Pokemon I don't, excuse me, don't want to sleep on either. And he's got some really amazing wall breakers, like Pre-Marina is impossible to switch into. Uh, things like Arcanine are potentially scary. Uh, Tyranitar is obviously really scary with a bandit set. Um, my team isn't too vulnerable to like Pre-Marina and Tyranitar, just because most of my team is, out, is geared to outspeed them. Um, but let's quickly hop into this team and try and hop into this battle quickly. Uh, the only sort of bulky Pokemon that I'm really bringing this week is Sylveon, uh, Hyper Voice, Toxic Wish, Baton Pass. Uh, enough speed on here for a zero speed Sand Slash, um, otherwise full Fist Def. This is, I guess, a switch in for some T-Tars, uh, Dragon Dance Lottie, uh, normal Lottie as well. This can pivot into pretty well if it's got like Psy Shock and uh, Dragon Coverage. If it's Calm Mind, I can Toxic it. Uh, this deals with his whole team relatively well. But obviously, it can't deal that well with Chansey, and it doesn't do that great versus Arcanine. But if I can Toxic either of those things, I'll be pretty happy. Um, next, I have a uh, Rocky Helmet Quillfish. I like this sort of set for Quillfish. Spikes, Pain Split, Waterfall, Poison Jab. Enough speed on here for um, Max Speed Sand Slash, if I'm not mistaken. It also outspeeds T-Tar and uh, Primarina. Uh, but Spikes is really the only form of hazards I could afford to bring this week. I really wanted to bring uh, Rocks, but uh, I just felt like I needed all the other mods on my team. And then, uh, you know, this defensive set's really nice for things like Lucario and Arcanine. Uh, it's not really a switch into Primarina, but uh, I bet I could go for like a, a, a Pain Split followed by a P-Jab and do decent damage to it. Um, plus I outspeed it anyway, so that's, that's quite nice. Um, but yeah, best hazard... Uh, the control this week. Pain Split's also really nice for like Chansey, because uh, Chansey obviously has a tremendous HP stat. So I almost brought Taunt plus Pain Split for that, but I couldn't really afford it because uh, I wanted P Jab for for uh, for Marina. Uh, let me try and go through this a little bit more quickly. Uh, AP Gudra just for the Thundee, just so that doesn't flat out sweep me. Uh, it also does tremendous damage to Primarina, and then Dragon Tail for anything like if I'm expecting a switch or. I want to just phase him around, try and rack up spikes damage. Uh, but yeah, really need to preserve this for Thundee. Uh, that's the number one most important thing. Uh, Colberberry Decidueye. Uh, I wanted something that can pretty much guaranteed kill Primarina. Uh, Sucker Punch is decent priority for things like uh, DD Lottie and also the Thunderous. We might be able to tank one hit from it. Um, it went with Culverberry. Oh, this also is, you know, it can kill uh, Sandslash very easily. Culverberry for a potential knockoff on uh, on that thing. Uh, but more importantly for T-Tar, in case he decides to Pursuit Trap us, because that could be really bad. Uh, next, we have a Life Orb Weavile. Pretty standard. Uh, knockoff, Icicle Crash, P-Jab, Low Kick. I'm still debating between this and Ice Shard. Icicle Crash is great versus his team, but... Uh, I'm just feeling a little scared of setup, Fundy setup, uh, Lottie, but I just think this is overall better. Uh, we do outspeed a max speed uh, Scarf T Tar with this, so that's nice. And then last but not least, the main win con, Double Dance Lando. Uh, he doesn't have really any switch ins to this. And this is where I really wish I had Rocks up because uh, Rocks, you know, weakens Lottie, and I do need some damage on Lottie in order to kill with Continental Crush before. Uh, before I uh, SD. If I do SD, then even just a regular Stone Edge will kill, so that's nice. Um, Lando has a few chances to set up, uh, mainly versus Chansey, that's not packing Ice Beam. Um, it can also set up on uh, potentially Sand Slash, 
uh, Lucario, Arcanine. It just all sort of depends on uh, the circumstances in the game. And so, uh, with all that said, let's just go ahead and hop on into the battle. Alright, here we are in the battle, and as you can see, Carney has brought his Lopany, his Chansey, his Primarina, Lucario, Floatzel, and Negalatios. So, no Thundee, which is nice for me. It sort of allows me to use Gudra for Primarina and Floatzel. That's about all I can think of. Um, it doesn't really take hits or anything else. Um, it can Dragon Tail stuff, which is kind of nice. Um, Floatzel is surprisingly annoying. Um, so in terms of leads... Oh shoot, I forgot to... I meant to make this Protect over Baton Pass on Sylveon, but I didn't do that. Uh, that's okay. Um, what do we want to go for? What is his probable lead? Like, it could be Lopany or Chansey or something. So we'll see... Uh, this is tough. He didn't bring Arcanine, which is nice. Arcanine was really annoying. What is this che check to, uh... So, okay, so that must be a uh, Kepia Berry Fizdef Primarina. He doesn't have another check to Weavile, really. Like, I guess, uh, like a no-item Floatzel could check, but I don't think that's particularly good. Um... I'm just going to lead Gujar, I think, just because it's not that great versus his team. And um, if he leads with, like, Lottie or Luke, I can switch into those. And I don't need that super badly. So, let's see what he goes for here. I'm just going to go for Power Whip. This should do a chunk. Primarine is a threat, so, alright, cool. We, uh, we miss immediately. And uh, that's definitely Specs. So... That sucks a lot. I don't have another play. So it's clicking Power Whip. Alright, so now we, we do a chunk to that. So, fine with me. So he's not... So he doesn't have, like, Weavile answers. Um, I guess Luke, kind of, is a Weavile answer, but it's not really. Um, let's see... Like, what Mon gets abused the least if I switch in here? I think that Decidueye is not bad. Uh, do I want to just Spirit Shackle? I kind of do. It should kill. Crit definitely didn't matter. But yeah, it was tough. Like, if I... So, what is this Pokemon? I don't even know what Lopunny does. Like, I know it's got that stupid, like, Limber set. Not Limber, uh, the Klutz vet, like, Assault Vest. Stuff like that, which is kind of dumb. But otherwise, I don't really know what this does. I think I'm happy just to Leaf Blade. So he does go for Switcheroo. He gives me Black Sludge. That's a, that's a interesting tech. So if Leaf Blade did 61, so I've got my Calc here. That's definitely annoying, but I can live with it. Um, uh, Lopany. Because there's really no reason for him to stay in. Like, or there's no reason for him to switch out, I think. I think I'm just going to Leaf Blade again. I don't really care that much. Yeah, just just goes for Ice Punch, gets a crit. All right, so far so good. Um, so we double down. Uh, Luke is looking like a problem. I'm gonna go Sylveon because Sylveon's pretty good versus three of the four things, and if he's Luke, I think I can fairly comfortably go into Quillfish. So he goes Lottie. I think I just want a Hyper Voice. No, his switch into Chansey is way too obvious. I kind of just want a Baton Pass. Yeah, because he goes into Chansey. Let's go to this. 
Um, do I want to just rock polish here? Yeah, it's tough. I don't know exactly what he wants to do. I think rock polish is okay. Like, if I can get off a rock polish in an SD, I do win. If he stays in for some reason, then I win. Alright, so he does stay in. He goes for rocks. Alright, I think this is game. Unless it's Sash Luke. That's about the only thing I can think of. Whew. I haven't gotten enough of sweep like this all season, boys. Uh, Landorus. Uh, yeah, I think that's game. Chansey. Uh. No, not quite. Do I SD predicting his, uh this thing. Yeah, I'm gonna SD again as he goes into that. So I don't think I mind blowing the Z-move here. Alright, so we should kill it. Looks good. Definitely a KO. Alright, now uh, Earthquake. I mean, if he's got uh, Aqua Jet on Float Soul, he might be looking good. Like, he might be able to stall me out for a few turns. Like, Aqua Jet plus E-Speed. <laughs> My voice cracked. Aqua Jet plus E-Speed might be able to, to finish me off. Uh, we shall see. I mean, I obviously don't have any other play besides clicking this. He is Shookaberry, which is not going to let him survive. So this thing gets two kills, which is not bad. I'll definitely take that. Yeah, I'm su I, like, he's got to have Aqua Jet on Float Soul. There's really no other way. Yeah, I mean, I don't have a play besides clicking EQ. Alright, we take that out. Okay, so now it's just Chansey. So, I think my safest play is just going to Sylveon and uh, toxicking it, and then wishing uh, for eternity. Alright. He does have S-Toss, which is fine. I think, actually, let's try this. This might be cheeky. So it still has more HP than me, maybe? But if he, like, wants to go for... Oh, we get a flinch. <laughs> Sorry. GG. Alright, so that's gonna be game. This is a win that we desperately needed. And so, uh, coming out ahead 3-0 in this is really nice. The Lando was excellent. Uh, somebody in uh, my team building chat recommended this to me. I think it was... Uh, Jack O. So big shout outs to him. That really was key to winning this game. And yeah, so thank you all for watching. Make sure you check out the channel for other gaming Pokemon content. Until next time, I'll see you guys later.